Hi, and welcome back to Kate's Corner. This week, we're going to be reading The Invisible String by Patrice Karst. This is a beautiful book about the way love connects us to special people in our lives, no matter where they are and no matter where we are. It's a wonderful book really to read at any time, but it does open up important conversations about death and dying. So it's a particularly good book to read with children who are either expecting a loss or who have had a recent loss in their lives. So let's go ahead and read it together. The Invisible String by Patrice Karst. Liza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep one calm and quiet night. Suddenly, it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, mommy, they cried as they ran out to her. Don't worry, you two. It's just a storm making all that noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared. Mom said, you know, we're always together, no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed? said Liza. Mom held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what mom was holding. I was about your age when my mommy first told me about the invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are always connected by a very special string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know it's there? Asked Liza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone you love. When you are at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel it tug on my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts, Jeremy said. Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string? Liza asked. She sure does, said mom. And best friends like me and Lucy, asked Liza. Best friends too. How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, Mom said. Would it reach me even if I were a submarine captain deep in the ocean? Asked Jeremy. Yes, Mom said, even there. Or a mountain climber? Even there. A dancer in France? Even there. A jungle explorer, even there. How about an astronaut out in space? Yes, even there. Then Jeremy quietly asked, can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes, even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, said mom. Love is stronger than anger. And as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. Even when you get older and can't agree about things like what movie to see or what game to play in the back seat or what time to go to bed. Oh, that's right. You two should be in bed. And with that, they all laughed as mom chased the twins back to their beds. Within a few minutes, they were asleep, even though the storm was still making the same loud noises outside. As they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings they have and all the strings their friends have and their friends have and their friends have until everyone in the world was connected by invisible strings. 
and from deep inside, they could now clearly see no one is ever alone.